Okay, so we're on. Let's go here. Just need to move this out of the way. Okay, right. So in this type of opening, pretty straightforward really, what we're looking at. That's all pretty normal. So what I find is, so they're blitzing out these moves and it's a 20 minute game. Obviously it must be pretty standard for them to do this sort of maneuver. So as we do, we just bring the bishop here just to kind of prevent this sort of business going here. The fried liver or whatever it's called. So at some stage it will slow down hopefully and then look they'll focus on their moves. Our opponent's 17.32, so that's a pretty decent whack here. So we're definitely looking at bringing out the knight. <clears throat> yes, and I'm still focused on going for the castling process. Okay, so I'm going to go and castle. Maybe I need to be focusing on this game. So I'm now two minutes down. So with us taking our time here, it looks like we're sort of making the opponent move fast. It's like they're going, right, I'm going to come down with the pawns. And okay, so they've pushed down, but they've left this bishop here. We can attack the bishop in the center. So I'm actually going to push through. You okay, just Dilbury? And it's just captured. So the knight can take because we do have the knight here so that's as simple as I can go for that so yes it looks like we've kind of not forced the opponent to move fast but it's like their brain has gone oh man this guy's taking so long with the moves I'm just gonna whip out my moves so hopefully we can make use of that as a bit of an error in judgment Need to, I think I need to bring my bishop out. I'm um, debating here or here. Hmm. I think here. Nice and steady away. Don't want to rush it, take time. Whoa, and they're going quick now. I think they're saying, well, I want this game over and done with, but it is a 20 minute game, so. We can take time. We could touch onto this pawn here. We could come back here. That would be quite nice. Then just take the knight off the pawn if he pushes the pawn down. So my washing machine's probably on the final cycle, so if you can hear it going, it's um, it's just doing a little bit of. Oh, and we've opened up his king side area. We've opened up the king side area, so there are weaknesses around here. So based on the experience that I've had like playing over the ball type thing, I'm going to put some kind of focus into causing some damage towards that area and rather than playing around on the other sides. So for now, I mean, we could move the knight here, attacking this pawn twice, three times, well, well twice. But does that give the bishop a little bit of scope bishop takes pawn takes bishop takes pawn takes queen takes does that look too ugly does it look too ugly so bishop takes we take his bishop before he then messes our pawns up here he moves his bishop we take this pawn because we'll have a two on one with the queen. I think I'm going to go with that. Keep it simple. I mean, don't have to take, but I think he is going to take. We take the bishop. We've got a two on one on the pawn here. Maybe a queen exchange. Maybe the bishop takes whichever. Oh, he's gone reversing.
he's reversed it but I'm not sure that that's good because now we're gonna have some areas around here to actually attack his king so I'm gonna take with the pawn keeping the knight here hmm So the bishop does take. But like I said, it gives us a bit of scope here. I'm not rushing it. Uh, the longer I take, the more impatient they're going to get. So they might make even more mistakes. So if we take, which makes sense to me, we're on the knight. Queen's defending the knight. Queens don't really want to be defending the knights. Then we've got more pressure on here, maybe to get some type of link up so rather than taking with the pawn which locks it down a little bit let's use the power base of the rook so when i'm speaking and you know the, these are not the words of the law i'm not saying i'm going to win anything so he does take a pawn but like i said it's opening up space around his king area i'm going to take without any deliberation there Yeah, because I sound, I probably sound really confident. Oh, yeah, I'm going to win. I'm going to do this. I only do that to make myself feel good. So I hope people don't misconstrue the fact that, oh, he thinks he's some I am or something like that, because I definitely don't. I'm just enjoying the game and trying to improve as best possible. And I believe I am improving. I'm going to attack here. Focal point, really. Looking to really kind of jam in this, um, this poem if we can get there, but it's also making space and they can feel it now a little bit, but he's also putting a two on one onto our pawn here. So that might be a little bit sketchy for us. Um, but if he does do that, we can, st I think we're stronger. Like the arrow, I'll put the arrow here. I still think we're stronger here. So if we bring the rook here, if his rook takes the pawn, we can take his pawn and we're on his queen he's on our queen if his rook takes our rook takes we're going to be more on the back rank and we might get a back rank checkmate yep do we, do we get that yep so if i go here do my four move calculation as best possible if they take then we take he doesn't have to take our queen. He could just move his queen out of the way, couldn't he? So say he moves his queen out of the way. Then we just go down here and put a check on the king. King comes back up. Rook comes up. Or oh, we'd get his queen off the board, I think. Yep. Yeah. So in any event, I feel that that's the better move. It's trying to use the power of what the rooks are designed for. He does actually take as well. It does take, so we'll follow this process, like we said. I suppose that's a normal human reaction thing. I mean, it's not put calculation in. I think if he'd done calculation like what we just did, he may have realised there might have been the slightest advantage to us. But I'm happy because we've take, took our time and we've kind of got on their nerves, I think, because we're taking so long over the moves and that impatience may have kind of cost them a little bit. So he does actually take the queen. So this means we can look to go for this back rank checkmate type position. Like we mentioned before, I'm moving a bit slow now just to make sure I'm not falling into any traps. Does his knight escape or something? He's still continuing attacking the bishop, even though the bishop is protected. Even though the bishop is protected, now this rook is covering this square. Yeah, so it's covering all of this and this rook is covering all of this. So the king, in essence, if we drop this rook down here, <clears throat> it probably can come up, which it probably will do. So it's going to be on a white square, which is a shame. Could we not go here first? No, because the pawn is there blocking. That would be ideal square for it to actually put a check on. So we can't do that at the minute. 
So if we go here, and I think naturally they'll probably go here. Hmm. Hmm. I have to go there. I have to go here. Uh, long play thinking is kind of hard. When you know you've got the finish, what 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 do you do? So he's going to be taking this bishop. So if he comes here, he goes there. If the bishop can come here and block off. Could go in front of the rook as well, actually. Could go in front of the rook. Rook probably takes. That looks quite nice. I think bringing the bishop into the game, if the rook takes, then it's knight against the rook. Don't mean that you're winning, though. Um, I think we're going to go here and see if we can get some activity towards the king. It's part of the answer process. We'll see. Oh, he's opening up his knight. He's moving dead quick, so again, I'm hoping that they're not uh, finding the best moves. Okay, so don't want to panic, but I need to get this rook into the game. If he comes down, king can come to safety quite nicely. So bringing the rook up, or even to here, actually. Should be okay, shouldn't it? It's just I can escape going backwards and forwards, but we do have the bishop that can jam him in. I'm tempting to go for the back rank thing that we'd mentioned earlier on when we were doing the rook stuff. Just wondering, he comes down, king comes. Has this knight got any fancy dancing? I think we're going to go with that. Just try and keep it as simple as possible. It looks simple, doesn't it? And the opponent's moving dead quick. So they're moving quick, hoping that I move quick. But um, I'm taking my time because from the OTB experience, taking your time, enjoying and trying to find the best moves. This bishop's going to come here, but it's not a checkmate because he can just come here. Well, it's being attacked, so let's attack this king. So only place he's got is here. And... We're just going to have to babysit this position for a bit. Could take this pawn. Could take the pawn, or can we move the bishop back again, just to make space for the rooks to start challenging? I'm going to bring the bishop back while we're thinking. We're on six minutes at the moment. There's plenty of time. <clears throat> I think the practice of the bullets is making me feel really relaxed about getting low on time. So this is like a lifetime in a sense, six minutes. Opponents are still on 16 minutes from the 20 minutes, so that shows you how fast they've moved. Okay. So we're just going to try and steam in. I don't think there's a checkmate yet, unless, of course, he does something wrong. I mean, if we go here, we're just chasing him backwards and forwards, so it's like ending up being in a drawn position, isn't it? Could get his knight off the board, but then I get my rook off the board as well. So I think if I delay that and cause some damage first, I'm trying to create a mating net. 
of sorts. Because what I was thinking was bringing the... Oh, he's lost his rook. He's lost his rook. But, well, before I move, make sure I don't lose my rook. So coming here, but then he's got his knight. Damn. So we get his knight, but... And then we're going to be two on there. So maybe that's compensation. Could go there, but we lose it. Then we've got the rook. Then we're on there. Or we can go attack. Where does he go? Maybe to here, attacking the rook. It's looking a bit ugly now, isn't it? Um, do, 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 do. Ugly is good so long as it's feeling like we're doing something. I mean, this rook can put a check, can't it? But then he just comes over and gets the rook there. No, I don't think that, because it's blocking the bishop's diagonal. Uh, no. Hmm. I'm not sure. So if we go here, we're on four minutes now. He comes and attacks the rook. So then the rook comes across. Mm -mm -mm. Or what if we attack it the other way? Oops, excuse me. doesn't feel good either I feel like I'm messing <clears throat> messing up the ending here so I'm actually going to go with the check again so checks first checks first King moves across move here attack this pawn King still stuck on the back okay let's come and attack this pawn I've worked out up to this point and then also I think a little bit of the Bishop move as well to maintain the attack towards the king. So this rook is really central. It's probably going to want to get this rook into the game playing. But if he does that, that I think helps us because it sort of jams his king in a little bit. So now they've slowed down. They've got plenty of time. We've got three minutes now. So we're in the um, blitzy type zone now. So we have to speed up a little bit, but not too fast. It's not too frantic at all. And like I said, I want to make space towards attacking his king. Do, 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 do. So there's no point taking this pawn because it lets the king up. Could attack him, but there... Mm, no, maybe... Maybe attack. Block him. Attack, block. Let's attack. Keep it simple for now. Checks first. So he's moving more central with the king. Okay, so simple bishop move. I'm not going to delay that one. So that's pretty straightforward, attacking the king. So he's attacking the rook, he just keeps on coming. And now this was the major position that we kind of wanted because we can hopefully get the rook off the board if... I think he's probably going to bring his rook here, but then the bishop takes him. So we can run here quite nicely to actually come on this side and get the rook off the board. So that was a, it's not over yet though, so I better not overthink the situation. So 
if he doesn't see the ninja bishop, but he's not doing any speedy moves now, so... Uh, okay, so he's brought his rook up, but that might be a little bit too late to the party. Um, because, in essence, he's going to lose either that rook or this rook. Because if we simply push this rook here, his king has to move. But mind you, I suppose he can just go here, can't he? But he won't be staying there for long because I suppose our bishop can put a check on him. And in any event, we still win that rook on the far corner, but we don't want to lose this rook. But we'll see how that pans out. We'll see what they do. And we did say just going to bring the bishop here and attack, so we'll keep with the naturalness of that. So the king has to... Oh, and he's come with the knight. Okay, but the rook can't take, and he's still going to have the check on. Because of the x-ray through obviously the king can take but there's a bit of a situation because now we're going to be a rook up because we take here okay so now we're in oh and they've resigned whoa okay so that was a very interesting game there of so that's the first half hour i could spend the next half hour just doing the evaluation on this one so that was a I'm not going to spend that long though, but obviously, let's see if this is showing on here. Ah, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. Right, okay. Sorry about the washing machine, but you know, clothes have to be washed. Right, so let's see what we've got. I need to take this off here. Okay, so we, we explained most of the um, position and strategy and plan throughout this game, really. It was more a case of the opponents pushing forward with the pawns. And at the end of the day, it's a simple position play type thing. We did say that there was a potential focus on this pawn at a certain point in the game. Because now they've opened up their pawns in front of their king. So... In real terms, what you'll be looking at doing is trying to take advantage of the weaknesses around the king. As far as I can tell. And like I said before, I am not here coaching anybody. I'm here developing myself. And if anyone listening to these videos thinks, well, okay, that's a different take on things. You know, uh, yes, he's not a grandmaster in any way, shape. But, you know, it, I might take that on board in my game. Then so be it, you know. I'm definitely not here trying to take over the world with um, chess streaming. There's way too many people doing that as it is. I'm just here putting my two pen of thing into the world of chess. Just making that clear, that's all. Um, so, from this position here, we did have a focal point on trying to take advantage of this um, situation. So we brought the knight up, attacking the pawn. Uh, Gage Bar's not happy with that, but we're fairly comfortable with that because we wanted to start exacting some type of opening towards that area. And the opponent did the reverse of what we expected them to do because we expected bishop taking, so then we could potentially take, but we weren't going to take there just yet. We were going to take here, you know, so that type of thing. I don't know if that would have been better for them or not. Uh, so take, take, take. And then obviously he's got one, two, three pieces on this pawn. So he could, in, in essence, take the pawn there, couldn't he? Because then that would, like, give him this. But it's still in a draw at the moment. Okay. I don't know if taking there would have been any good. But anyway, it didn't happen. So it kind of spoiled the thought processes. So they captured, and then we captured. And um, we captured with the pawn because we, we. this is where we really said we're going to try and utilise the rooks on this open file as best possible. Uh, if we can, put pressure onto this pawn here. So it seemed to pan out in our favour in terms of that planning structure and the weakness that the opponent had actually given to us. So we brought the rook up, and then we could capture the, the um, knight. So it's showing quite nice for us here, minus 3.3, so that's over the minus 2, so that's uh, showing some serious position. 
So we come up attacking the rook, queen comes and protects and again we took our time over this position play. It's It looks very simple, doesn't it? Because all we've done is got the rooks on this half open file, pressuring a weak pawn here. All makes sense to me. Nice and simple chess and that's what I like. Sometimes I do like the ugly, simple chess as well. But either way, it's all simple chess. So we grabbed the pawn. Minus seven. Damn. Okay. We grabbed the pawn. Because at this point here, um, I don't think that this rook should have been contemplating taking the pawn. We, we, felt we did work through the actual plan, structure, strategy for this maneuver. So it wasn't too magical. But didn't think it was minus 6.2. Um, he's not got his knight developed. His other rook's not in the game. So I suppose in a way, that's kind of slowing down their, their development. So we captured, captured. And then the rook is still by itself down in the middle of the board. You know, um, So there's not much that it can really do. Minus 14 now. Woo. Okay. Didn't think it was that good because at the end of the day, it's um, you have to find the checkmate position, and because he's got so much space to be able to manoeuvre, you know, he's king backwards and forwards. You know, it could be a draw, so it's okay me going here. This is why I was deliberating so much in this uh, position. Is that okay? Yeah, they're on the back rank, so what? Okay, so he brings his knight into the game. So we bring the bishop in, attacking. It's a simple attack because we're being attacked by the knight. Whew. So I've seen these types of games lost from my own, you know, because I've either gone for a draw or... Um... So this is not straightforward now. So we've, we're losing a bits of advantages with these types of moves because we're trying to fashion some sort of mating net if you like or a position that makes them feel really uncomfortable so we're back up to minus eight so we're still on the minus eight wasn't really happy with this move really because it's, i'm thinking i'm losing the advantage somehow never mind what the gauge bar is showing i'm just feeling so he attacks the rook so we move the rook so we did work out the four move calculation up to this point of okay well we can come here take the pawn off if we were going to do that but then we realized that that would bring our rook away and then his king would be able to actually escape so we don't want him to escape his king so putting a simple check on the king so it's dropped down again minus six so we're not finding the best best moves but the idea is we want to try and strangulate the king so checks first yeah well usually it's position first checks Captures threat support blocking type thing and then position again for me. So he moves again. So I'll check in this area because I don't want to lose the impetus of whatever type of position that I've got here. So he's attacking our rook again. And at this point here now, I'm just saying to myself, well, okay, this could be good. We could move it here. We could move it here. Yeah. Because basically we just want to drop round the back here at some point. But... This rook isn't here just yet, but also we don't need to do that because once he's here, then we would be able to get this rook and that would be checkmate in a sense. So we bring the rook across, but then he brings his rook into the game, into the mix, which kind of spoils the, the process that I was looking at. But we can bring this rook down here. Now looking at the picture, Potentially, the four move calculation that we put into our own heads as we discussed it was that, yeah, he has to come here. We ev eventually could be getting this rook off the board. We can put pressure onto the king here. So the move order was something on the lines of it's going to bring his king here. So that's one move. Okay, so once he brings it there, what can he do next? And the knight move did shock us actually. I, I thought I didn't put the knight into the equation, I was so focused on here. So our two move calculation up to that point um, worked out quite nicely. And then the knight came in. So at that point, then we had to do another quick, cal well, we didn't have to do a quick calculation, but it was pretty straightforward that we could actually just take the knight off the board. Because then the king takes, then we can take this pot, we can take the rook, 
king takes or we can take here, whichever way. So we're going to be a rook up at the end of the day. So that was nice and steady. So we brought the bishop through attacking. We didn't quite find the mating net per se that we were looking for, um, but we didn't lose hope. What, what we looked at was improving the position on the board. Sometimes the mating nets just don't come off. And in this case here, it just didn't come off. So it's minus 9.4 at the moment. So then we can grab and then at that point, the opponent resigned. So I think improving position, <clears throat> looking at checks, captures, threats, supporting, blocking, and then position again, really does help improve my thinking in terms of what is an important move on the board. Um, especially for the longer play games. You can still use that strategy in the shorter play games, but um, your calculation is like one move, one move, one move, rather than four moves or more than four, but I don't do more than four, really. Four, four move calculation works for me. Okay, so that's the first 40 minutes of that one. Okay, um, I'm willing to go for a next one. I'm just going to take a break. Oh, we've got something. Okay, playing as black again. And we've got a speedy, speedy player, and that yet again. So I'm hoping that they lose patience, and that makes them make the wrong moves. I'm going to go here. It is a long play game, it's a rapid game, so we don't need to move fast um, at all. Um, I'm going to go here. Let's try and stick with what I usually would do. Just wait for the unusual to kick in. Okay, and just make space for castling. Okay, I mean, in these longer type things, I mean, moving fast. You know, you know you're, you're not gaining anything. Well, in my head. That's what I'm saying. This person's not gaining anything from doing that speedy stuff. So I'm hoping that I can take advantage of that. Not be too nice, not be too kind. Focus on going for the damage rather than letting people off, you know. You have to have a certain mindset, I think, you know, when you're playing chess, you know. If you're playing a friendly, play a friendly, that's cool. But then if you're playing a proper game, you've got to really go in there and give them what for. As best possible. Okay, so they slowed down a bit there. That's good. Because I think what I'm trying to say is when I'm playing a longer play game, I really like the opponent to really put some thought into the moves. Not too much thought, like taking 10 hours over a move and stuff, but there has to be something. So there's nothing behind this knight here. So we could take the knight because the pawn's going to drop on. We do have attacks with the bishop here, attacking their bishop as well. So I think that looks really quite nice. Don't really want this knight staying here, really. Let's take that off. Okay, lovely. So we do have scope. Oh, we could always come all the way back as well. Scope, 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 scope. Can't go here. There's areas here. Can't go here because the queen is there. And if we come here, we're attacking the pawn again. We could bring this pawn down to protect. Then we can bring our knight here if we're feeling a bit squinchy about the position. Yep. So I think we'll attack. So still trying to work with the four move calculation. Still looking at the position. <coughs> Checks, captures, threats, supporting, blocking, position. Uh, within the answer process basically just to try and nail down the appropriate moves hopefully fingers crossed bishops protecting okay so we did say if we're feeling a bit squinchy we'd, we'd swing the knight back but maybe we're not feeling too squinchy maybe the bishop comes here just thinking is there going to be some of this business uh, and we can always come back here if any, if anything happens Always got to be wary of getting your knight trapped. It's annoying when you get your knight trapped. But if this one did come down, we'd be able to take. No, we wouldn't because the queen is on the pawn. <laughs> All right. 
Probably developing my bishop, I think, is nice and simple. That does make sense to me, and it's got an x-ray through to the queen. I'm trying to look at the importance of the moves. Like in the last game, we looked at the importance of the moves, and we got a nice basic position with the rooks. So a nice simple attack could take. But then it's disrupt He comes and attacks more with the pawns again. We're basically inviting him to open up pawns around his king, weakening his king area. Looks to me like this person may be then looking to really go and castle queen's air uh, queen side. I'm gonna bring the bishop back. Oh well, now they're moving a bit too quick. Now they're moving a bit too quick, unless of course they, you know, they calculated that if he does move back, I'm going straight here for something. Something. What's the something? There's nothing behind this pawn. There's nothing behind that pawn. Knight's still here at the minute, still on here. Bishop's still, I feel like just going up there and trying to squinch this bishop. So we can get this pawn. I don't think that's the right way to go though. Okay, so still got sights again now of this weak pawn here. Although can't do that just yet because the knight is there. So if we did take, but then the queen replicates, so we can't. What we could do with them, we could attack the um, then we could attack the bishop, get the queen out. I think we're going to take the knight. Let's take the knight, try and go for simple, then attack his bishop. There's always the intermediate move, intermediate moves whereby you know something else can happen, like he comes and attacks our knight. So I'm gonna follow the process so far, just attack here. So that was like a two-move calculation. Nothing major. Don't know if it's improved my position or not. See, that's an in intermediate thing there. We didn't expect that. So I think we can simply take the bishop off the board now. So that's Again, you know, the calculation wasn't that it went that way. And he's taken the knight. And the calculation wasn't that he took that way either. But I suppose in a way he's going to win the pawn back because our bishop is going to be on his rook. Does he have time to win the pawn? Yes, yeah, I suppose he does. Comes here, but then maybe not, because if his queen comes down and takes this, if he brings this here, we can put a check on. Oh, we've got nothing supporting it. That'd be brilliant if we had something supporting that. Oh, okay, so he gets the pawn back. There's nothing else, is there? No, let's just bring here, attacking this weak pawn again. So we are focusing on this area, potentially coming here. If he greedy, just about to say, if he greedy munches for the pawn, that should give us a good position. Because we can put the check now, so he can't castle anymore. And that's probably one of the key things, is the king not being able to castle, so hopefully we can try and take advantage. Can't get to it just yet, he's gone onto a white square, we could try and come here, but uh, do, 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 do. maybe yeah, exchange the queens? No, that doesn't look good to me. Mm -hmm. I think he's got pressure on him because we do have this square here. If we're allowed to, I don't think he's going to allow us that. So he's moved his king back. He's moved his king back. We can still follow this process attacking here. But what does that give us? Because we've only got the bishop. Ooh, no. If we move here. We move here, which is what we plan to do. 
Am I over pieces supporting in the way it's looking to tip, peel off these pawns? Really want the rooks getting, but these pawns not going to be fast enough getting up there. What's the issue? Because he's not. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm going to go for it. It feels right while I'm thinking. Because that's what we planned when we brought the queen here to come here. Feels right. Something feels right. So that comes down to that emotional content thing, you know, where, okay, so he's peeling off pawns. What I know in my head is that his queen is on the other side of the board and his king is home alone. So I want to try and keep some type of pressure situation going. And I believe bringing the bishop here adds that pressure. So we can bring it here, and I don't think there's any piece that can actually get in the way of this. If he moves, then we get the checkmate. If he moves here, we get the checkmate. If he moves, we can't move there. So that was forking, fork, oh God, I'm so excited now. That was the, oh, he's escaping. Oh, man, I was, but if we take here, then his king comes here. Then our queen can come here, surely, can't it? Yeah. Jason Ramirez. Cheers. I'm just um doing a little stream. I do it every now and then. Um we're just practicing OTB stuff, calculations. So yeah, so now this is a move order thing. This is a move order thing because we take and then if he moves his king, we could take with the bishop or we could take with the queen. If we take with the queen, he moves and the bishop's still got this diagonal. So then we can bring the queen. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's got to be it. Oh, I thought it was checkmate. Oh, he's got the pawn to move. But then we can just move the queen up and then that's definitely checkmate then. Make sure, make sure, make sure. 